What is going on guys? Tigers here back again with another first time in the DAW producer challenge. This time I am using Kakos Reaper. Pretty sure it's Kokos, Kakos. Using Reaper. Alright, Reaper's a free DAW with a paid version of it, and the free version essentially gives you the entire DAW. So I don't really know a lot of people actually buy Reaper, but for the fact that you can get the, damn near the whole thing for free is pretty freaking cool. And it's, from what I understand, a pretty good fucking dog, too, for being free. So, same challenge as always. We're trying to make a, uh, try to make a drum loop with some MIDI and try to do some automation just to keep things a little interesting. Um, plus, it's, every program is a little different when it comes to automation, so let's try this out. Now, again, I have never used this doll before. Inserts. I don't know if that's MIDI or audio, but let's just get some audio going. Okay, it looks like the scrolling of the timeline is reversed on the mouse. Oh, let's set the BPM. How do we do that? Yeah. Looks like we're already at 120. Keep it there. Uh, what the fuck? Okay, so Control D does not do duplicates. Got some tools up here. I don't know what those do. Okay, so alt clicking moves around the audio itself. Okay, control click. That's how we duplicate. Kicks going. I couldn't figure out how to duplicate all these kicks, so. Looks like I'm just dragging it to a new track. Cool. I can't. I can just drag right up to a new track. How do I shorten this? Oh, there we go. That's pretty easy. That's not what I want. I don't really can change the amount of lines on me. Timeline here. Change the grid. How we do that? I am not sure. So, I guess instead of doing I uh, yeah, on the off off beats, on the off beats, we are going to just do it on beats. Make sure we got the rhythm. Okay, 
shit looks like. Okay, it automatically creates a mixer track for me. Sweet. Now to add a clip. This will work. Oh, let's duplicate that. That clap is looking pretty, uh, or sounding pretty bland. Um, let's see here we go. Effects. Contacts. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Yeah, PST. I'm going to add a hollow room. That's better. How do I if I want to open that back up? Okay, but okay, cool. So clicking the effects right here opens up my entire effects rack and looks like I can keep adding and moving from there. Um, so let's see if I was to just add OTT to that. Okay, now I can flip back and forth like that. Not bad. Not overly complicated. Okay, so for short this is a trick. Alright. It's gonna add my key zone. So we're gonna do a quick little house thing again. Um, let's kickstart. What all oh, okay, let's just do that. Key zone classic. Created a crap ton of mixer outputs for me. Not sure why that happened. Um, how do I insert a MIDI? I do not know. I don't need all this. Okay, cool. I don't know why I created all those tracks. That's crazy. Uh, insert MIDI. There we go. And let's drag that out. The whole two bars. Cool. There we go. There's the piano roll. And I can't hear keys on. Why can't I hear this? Okay, so something's going on with Keyzone right now. So I'm going to use a different track, I guess. It's a virtual instrument. Um, let's do... Inspire. Okay, and I actually have a crap ton of presets for Spire, so we'll find a cool pluck. I don't know how to activate the keyboard. <laughs> um, let's go back to Insert MIDI. Drag that out. All right. Again, key of C because I'm. Crazy. Right-clicking selects. Cool. Wow, 
that's way too fast. Okay, way too fast. There we go, that's a little better. And this is being looped, so I don't want that to happen. Uh, it looks like it's only working on a two bar loop. How do I get to do more than that? I don't want to repeat it like that. Oh, cool. It's got a uh, built in sheet music creation. It's my sheet music. Not really. Are those C chords? Let's try, I'll delete this. I wonder if, uh, stop looping everything. Dang you. Um, here, we actually just select all that, insert MIDI. Okay, cool. So you to highlight the whole area in order to create it. It's again. Using that a little too far here. There we go. Da, 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 da. Now let's make these seventh chords too. Just because it sounds just a little bit better. As seventh chords. Alright, it's a little better. Let's open up. Is it this to bring us? Okay, yeah, so the FX button brings up anything on that track. Too easy. Let's go to my plugs here. Mm -hmm. 
to uh, change this to a serum. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new for transfer track and we're going to use serum so I'm going to create my own chords. Alright, serum and then I'm going to drag this down there. So it says I'm clipping, but I turned it down, so it says the same exact number. I'm not sure what that's all about, but um, that's that, so let's go and add my LFO tool. I guess everything falls in new category, doesn't it? We just analyzed all this stuff. Uh, where is my LFO tool? actually drag these around and change the order of your effects and everything. That's pretty cool. Alright, now let's see if we can figure out some automation. Oh, man. Oh, here we go. Track automation. Envelopes. Let's do a panning. Okay, so envelope is not a way to create automation. Um, automation. Move. Create a new point. There we go. And there you have it. That's automation. Probably a pretty weird automation right there, but that is automation for you. Now, just because I'm a lazy son of a bitch, one last thing. Let's see if we can add effects to the mixer or to the master track here. Uh, what is this trim thing? Okay, that's envelopes. What are you? I'll put mono. 
Master output cylinder of mute. Not sure. Not sure if you can add uh, effects to the master bus. Okay, so when it's clipping and you click the actual thing here, it resets the values. So, for example, it's clipping right here. If I reset it, I still show it's clipping, but I click this, it goes away. Alright, well, there you have it. That is my attempt at making something in Reaper for the very first time. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one.